Sri Vishwanath Jodhirlinga is unique. Do they use copper or mercury or prana pradikshta consecration? So can I just talk about Kashi Vishwanath Jodhirlinga? Thank you so much. Oh. It is, uh, what is the word? Uh, what is the word? I'm forgetting the legal word for this. Uh, it's subjudice. <laughs> the subjudice, and that too, today is the hearing <laughs> in the local court. Maybe it's already done, we don't know the ruling. Today I think, twenty… oh, twenty-second, yes, yesterday. But it's subjudice still, so I cannot make a comment on that. <laughs> and because this is being webcast, I forgot I'm being webcast <laughs> See, this is my problem. I thought I'm just talking to just a hall full of loonies <laughs> and I can say whatever I want, but it's being on www, <laughs> the three worlds it's reaching and I don't know what all they're doing, already taking small pieces of the videos. <laughs> Subjudice. Lately, the more I see… No, the microphone works only near the mouth. Though <laughs> you're speaking from your heart, it doesn't work at all. <laughs> Namaskar, Sadhguru. Lately, uh, in me, the more I see, the more I know… Uh, I know that I have no idea what to do or how to do and I don't even know why I do certain things and why I don't do certain things <laughs> and the, if, if, if I can use your own phrase, there was one thing they always wanted, to be a yogi in marketplace or I, if you ask me now, I don't even know if, if that's the case. If I have to put it in words, what should I do? <laughs> I have no idea what to do, so what should I do? First, you must hand over the microphone <laughs> so, it's all right. It's all right, you use the microphone to ask a question, but that's it. After that, microphone is dangerous with a man who doesn't know what to do, <laughs> isn't it? So, uh, what should I do? See, at certain moments, everybody is like this, they're a bit honest. But now, if I tell you, okay, you do this, this and this, by tomorrow morning you would have found how you cannot do those things <laughs> So, little more, I really do not know, I really do not know should mature and culture within you. It should enter every cell in your body. Then if you come, I have a solution for you because because all those idiots who think they must become a doctor when they are five years age, five years of age, because somebody has told them such a thing, are bloody idiots. At least you don't know what to do. It's a very good thing. Maybe socially not very good thing. Your family doesn't think it's a very good thing. A whole lot of people… You married? Huh? 
but you don't know what to do. So, she will not like it that you don't know what to do. So for all those circumstances, you must pretend like you know what you're doing, all right? But if you are a genuine human being, you are not some macho nonsense, you are a genuine human being, nobody knows what to do. Only when you really, really know that you don't know what to do with this life, that's when you become a real seeker. You start seeking, what is this about? Oh, by the time you're twelve, thirteen, you know what to do. I want to become an astronaut, I want to become this, I want to become that. This is just social rubbish. If you were a caveman, what would you be thinking? Oh, I want to kill this, I want to kill that. Hello? So, nobody really knows what to do because when you don't know what you are, how do you know what to do? Hello? When you don't know the nature of your existence, how do you know what should be the nature of your action? If you know, you are either a nutcase or a bloody fool. You don't know. That's when you become a seeker. Genuinely, you don't know. Not just saying, I don't know because you're confused right now about something. No, not like that. Today you're confused about something that you wanted to do, it's not working. See, you wanted to do this, yogi in a marketplace business. Either the marketplace collapsed or the yoga collapsed. <laughs> now you don't know what to do. No, that's not what I'm talking about. You genuinely don't know what to do with this life because you don't know. Hello? Because you don't know what it is, first of all. When you don't know what this is, how do you know what to do with this? So if you come to that kind of I do not know, then I have an answer for you, a powerful answer, which is life transforming answer. But if you're just confused because marketplace is not working for you, ah, you struggle in the marketplace. Ah, that's your business, all right? Or you don't know whether you should continue yoga or not, okay, struggle even more <laughs> because when you don't know what it is doing to you, to get up in the morning every day and do it, it's quite a torture. You must… you need some torture probably. But if you genuinely, genuinely don't know, what do I do with this life? What is this about? If such a question has come, don't kill that question with some silly answer. Deepen the question. When the question becomes very profound, ah, don't worry, I'm there for you, wherever you are, it doesn't matter where you are. <laughs> Normally, I leave everybody like that, I don't give assurances, but I'm telling you, if you genuinely come to such a question in, within you, doesn't matter which part of the world you are, I'm there right there next to you, hundred percent. Namaskar. Anybody, please take the mic. Namaskaram Sadhguru. Hello. No. <laughs> okay. okay, you can go first. Namaskar. Gentle lady, she's a gentle lady. <laughs> I mean, not a gentleman, that's why. <laughs> all right, all right. 